On the 14th of February this year, Elon Musk's boring company completed one of their tunnels under the Las Vegas Convention Center. That tunnel is one of their many ambitious ongoing projects. A tour of their website shows that they have completed a test tunnel in Hawthorne, California, and they also have proposals for tunnels in Los Angeles, Chicago, and DC. The Boeing company hopes that a large network of tunnels, many levels deep, will help reduce traffic in any city. Elon Musk questions the 2D transportation network in the States and proposes an underground 3D solution that will alleviate the problem of congestion. Just with the SpaceX program, the Boring Company questions the way things are done and proposes a new, cheaper, faster, and more efficient way of doing things. This video taken at their Hawthorne Tunnel is a prototype for all their future projects. Their tunnels are going to be just 14 feet in diameter, which is half the current standard tunnel size. You can see just how close the car is to the tunnel's walls. Speed and low costs are very important goals of the Boring Company. Shrinking the size of their tunnels is one of the ways they hope to achieve this. Another is by dealing with all the excavated earth themselves. Typically, excavated earth is shipped off-site to disposal locations, which is costly, time-consuming, noisy, and can be environmentally hazardous. Up to 30% of the cost of digging a tunnel goes towards the disposal of this excavated dirt. So instead of disposing of all that earth, the Boring Company decided to create another company called the Brick Store in 2018 to create bricks from all that excavated earth. Reusing the natural waste of digging tunnels helps bring down the costs of excavation. In July 2018, they released a video showing the creation of their Lego-like boring bricks, which are made of earth and concrete, compressed at 6,000 PSI. These blocks are very stable and are even rated for California seismic loads. Now it's important to note that this is not a new idea or technology. Compressed earth bricks and similar versions like mud bricks or adobe bricks can be traced to 5000 BC. They were used in North America, South America, Egypt and all across Asia. It's not just an ancient way of building, it's still being used today. I came across this modular interlocking soil block built in Bangalore, India by Earth Block Incorporated. The blocks are very Lego-like and can be stacked on top of each other without mortar between them, also called dry stacking, which makes the wall assembly very quick. The holes in the blocks are for rebar and mortar, which reinforce the wall. It's also designed to be a zero wastage type of construction. The beveled edges of the brick add an extra layer of articulation so the wall is not just structural, it's also elegant. The Boring Company's bricks are very similar to those because they're interlocking. They look and work more like Legos than like traditional CMU blocks. Everyone was excited back in September 2018 when Elon Musk tweeted that the first Boring Brick store would be opening in approximately two months and that the bricks would cost just 10 cents each. He also claimed that the bricks would be free if used for affordable housing projects. These 10 cent prices shocked people because a typical concrete brick costs 65 cents at a big box store like Home Depot. A CMU block, on the other hand, costs over a dollar. But we haven't heard anything about the brick store since then. People have speculated that selling the bricks for a low price of 10 cents just wasn't financially feasible. Others have said that the bricks might not have been as structurally sound as Musk claimed. There just hasn't been any public news about them since the big announcement in 2018. I did a bit of digging and I found two traces of them. In February 2019, a Monty Python style watchtower was constructed outside the SpaceX factory in Hawthorne, California, complete with a medieval knight dressed in full armor perched on top of the tower. Now this would normally be odd, but we kind of expect it from Elon Musk. Anyway, I looked at the construction photos of this tower and it seems like it's clad with pre-made panels that have a waterproofing sheet like Tyvek and a version of their boring bricks. 
I don't know if this was intentional or not, but the panels look hastily made and the bricks are uneven in size, shape and color. But this tower is just a gimmick, I guess, so it doesn't really matter. The second trace of the boring bricks that I found is at the Las Vegas Convention Center, where the boring company just completed a tunnel. That's the clip that we saw in the beginning of this video. There's a live feed of the construction site available online. I'll link it in the description below. If we take a closer look at this site, you can see massive Lego-like gray blocks in the lower left-hand corner that are at least two feet by four feet. I believe those are a larger version of the boring bricks that were advertised. Also, the walls of the tunnel are lined with some concrete forms that could be a version of these boring bricks. So I guess we can conclude that the boring company and the brick store haven't abandoned their goal of creating these earth bricks. They are possibly just using them for the project itself instead of selling them to the public for now. You'll find links to all the footage I used in the description below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm Belinda. See you next time.